Hey guys, it's Junior. Welcome back to my channel, Horsepower Warehouse. I am super excited to yet again show you guys another cool Corvette. And it's not this 66 Mazport 427 behind me. I want to introduce you guys to the newest project for the channel. This is a car that I'm going to walk you guys through the entire restoration on. Check this thing out. 1966 Corvette convertible obviously a Nassau blue car. You can see a little bit of the red peeking out from under the hood there. Let's just pan over the car and let me show you guys what we're starting with here. This car has a really, really awesome history. There were two guys actually that inspired the build of this vehicle, one being the previous owner and you know, one just being a family friend, but, or part of the family of the, the owner of this vehicle. And I'm going to get into the history of this car in another video. The purpose of this one is just to show you what we're working with here. This is probably going to be my greatest transformation yet. You guys, if you've seen some of my previous videos, you know, you know that I'm well known for doing high caliber Corvette builds, um, but it's not often that I have a car that I can show the entire deal. Um, literally, I have not touched this car yet. This is exactly how you're seeing it come into the channel. I've already got it up on my lift prior to doing, obviously, I, I try to give someone a honest estimate of the vehicle before I dig into it. And I did find a couple issues here, uh, significant major issues. Mainly, there's a lot of rust on the chassis, but the birdcage is fine and also the foam. There is so much foam in this Corvette. Now, I haven't experienced a foam-filled Corvette yet, um, but once I get this thing on the, the lift and later on in this video, I will show you guys exactly what we're working with. Um, like I said, this is gonna be, I can see the vision here with this car. It's gonna be my greatest transformation yet. There's a lot of body work that needs to be had on this vehicle. You can see how Let's just take a look at this edge. You see how rounded that one is? Let's go look at my 66 Maz port over here. You see this edge? How defined? And I mean, that standard, let's go back and look one more time. You see how rounded it is? It's because someone went overboard with uh, the sanding. This one, has been painted actually a few times. This was born a Nassau blue car, so that's the way she's going back. But you guys can see at some point it was painted red and then painted back to blue again. I believe these are magnesium American racing wheels. These are going back to the owner. I have really no use for them, but really cool nostalgic racing wheels. I cannot believe someone just stuck wheel weights right there. Can you Holy moly, but check this out. Look at this light, the angle that that one's at. And let's go back over to my reference car here. Now this is a 66 as well, so check out that light. I mean, straight up and down. The other one is wah, you know? My body man is going to absolutely have his work cut out for him in this car. This one has indications of being worked on all four corners. The interior is actually in fairly decent condition and you know, with the seats, but you can see as we look at the door panel, it's, it's definitely seen better days. The door sills are, you know, taking their, their share of wear and tear. You can see the foam. <laughs> I mean, when I tell you guys that there is a lot of foam in this car, I mean, there's not one or two cans. There's a contractor's bulk pack of foam that has been applied to this car. Small block, non-power brakes, non-power steering. Both of those things are going to change. I'm going to make this into a power brake and power steering car. 
gentleman also wanted me to make the exhaust a little bit more spicy. So we're going to do a side pipe kit on this vehicle. Knock off wheels. All new chrome, all new trim, complete nut and bolt frame off restoration on this car. Like I said, I'm so excited to share this, guys, because this is my chance to prove to you as a channel. You've seen the done stuff, but you haven't seen the full transformation yet. Been waiting for the correct car so that I can just share it with you, the whole thing. So let me get this up on the rack. I'm going to take the wheels off and then we can look at the chassis together and I'll show you what I, guys what I found. I will be right back. And we're back just like that. Let me show you guys underneath. And before I get into this, let me remind you, this car is going to be bang when we're done. So before we get into what we're about to see, just keep your confidence with me guys. Stay calm because nothing that I'm going to show you is a game changer on this project. So let's, let's dive into this. Every time I go underneath this car, I kind of find something new. So I'm going to grab my light here. Let's start with the license plate. <laughs> it, that, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the C2 Corvettes, but you're, uh, it should not have a hole there with a recessed light in there. That's completely custom. You know, there's a little tab here holding on your rear exhaust rocker where it should be bolted in. We can start to see the beginning of the foam. The foam is literally holding the body to the chassis right now. And if we follow along the frame rail, you can guys can kind of see how much foam we're, we're talking about here. It's completely, it's inside the frame. If we look up in between the body and the chassis, I mean, we can see foam going all the way forward. So they basically completely filled the frame with foam, but also the area in the C channel here in the rocker area. Can you guys see? Yeah. I mean, it's packed with foam. That's going to be a real challenge for me because in order to separate the body from this uh, frame, it's, uh, I'm going to have to chisel all this away and maybe get some like banjo wire or something like that and uh, floss my way through and just cut all this foam out that's holding the body to the chassis. You guys can also see the rust um, at the bottom here. I mean, there is quite a bit of rust on the chassis. And as you kind of look into all the hot spots, I can't really quite capture it with the camera, but I, this chassis is not what I would consider to be a savable unit. Um, we are gonna replace the chassis with a real 66 chassis, of course. Um, but this one's going to need a donor. Another interesting note, more foam, of course. But let me, let me drop this light so I can show you guys in point. This actually has a cover here for the battery. And this is used for an air conditioning car because the AC has a battery that's on this side of the frame, the AC equipped cars, whereas a non-AC car would not have this cut out for the battery. Um, and you can see the provisions here where the tray would go if this were a factory AC car, but it's not. So it's pretty interesting to me to find that they had put that access panel there because they really don't need it. You can see more foam and more foam. You guys might also notice how, now I'm not slamming anybody's work, but this was actually brought to another Corvette shop prior to coming here and they did some service. Um, they put the wrong fan shroud in it. This is a 63 to 65 shroud. I mean, it's metal, it's not fiberglass. And you can see how it's absolutely pinned against the front sway bar here. I mean, you, you can't even move it and it's actually got it crammed against the bottom of the radiator here as well. So, I mean, you know, I'm not hammering them, but they just didn't know the difference between the, the radiator shrouds. And it sucks because that was a $450 piece that they bought the wrong one. You can see how it's got the spacers and the springs because the springs are completely collapsed. Both sides. All of the bushings are beyond shot. You can see as we go into the back and just kind of analyze the rear suspension, check out these spacers that they wedged in here to take up the slack from the sagging spring there was a lot of ingenuity in this car to try to make it you know better without actually spending you know the correct 
time and effort and money. Um, but you know, that's, that's why I do so many of these cars is uh, I'm well known for, you know, righting the wrongs of time. I'm really happy to see the bottom not impacted on the corners. Same thing with this corner, this corner, here, here, you know, because over time, this is all just bare fiberglass. Um, something could kick up and wham and, and you know, take out a section or uh, damage the fiberglass. And when we're done, guys, you're, you'll see, this is gonna be completely bare glass and it'll look like a brand new, brand new underneath the vehicle. I really take a lot of pride in my preparation of the body before the chassis meets it again. Um, of course, this rear exhaust panel is going to be replaced all together because we're going with a side pan or side pipe exhaust. I mean, every time I walk through here, I just find little things like, look how they routed the, the line for the rear calipers. It, that couldn't be farther from what it's going to look like. I also thought it was funny that they serviced the brakes. You know, they put new hoses, new calipers in. But look at, can you guys see how cracked that pad is? All the way along here is up like a two and a half inch long crack in the pad. Um, it looks like it was soaked with fluid or something, or maybe they dropped it before installing it. Um, but you know, that, it was a real short matter of time before that pad disintegrated and they lost the brakes on that, on that wheel anyhow. Lots of foam scraping in my future, guys. You can also see here the state of that parking lamp assembly that I was referring to earlier. I mean, this thing is way off in left field. Holy moly. This one is, is a lot closer. It's still not, still not right, but. Lord help me, what am I getting myself into here? <laughs> but you guys know I'll get it right. I'm not intimidated. A lot of people would probably look at this and go, you know, the, it can't be brought back to your standards. Because my standards are, I'm more critical of myself than most of my customers are. Hey, there's our new technician. Welcome to YouTube, Sean. He brought his little girl in to check it out. But I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think down below if you think that this is something that you'd be excited to get into. You know, you're probably a glutton for punishment like me. <laughs> I am so excited to prove to you guys and show you the transformation of this vehicle. It's going to be fantastic. And I say that because I've done it so many times. Check out the Mossport. This is a 427 of course but the engine's not done I, i'm still kind of mocking things up you can see how the interior is really coming together as well another 66. let me take guys by the way if you're still watching thank you so much for viewing my channel i want to show you some of the newest stuff that came in as well 69 gtx this thing is killer 440 love the color on this i love the stance with uh you know, it's like a modern retro wheel is what i'll call this you know bigger in size but kind of retro looking really really neat car um the 63 split window that one has been sold we still have the resto mod car this one is waiting to go through service my other Mazport convertible car, that one has been sold. This one, new edition, just came in this morning. As you guys can tell, it's a 67. It's got the five fins on the side, but 427, 435 horse tri-power. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. That is the combo for 67, right? You can see we have some, uh, this jack and some spare parts that I still got to take out of it. But man, that white interior is classy, classy. But a dirty fella like me needs to stay away from that. 
I really like the the color combination with the blue and the white. It just looks fantastic on these. And of course the side pipes, four speed with a big block. This is a troublemaker, guys. At least for a fellow like me, I'm I'm hot riding in a car like this. There is no like casual cruising. And this one I believe is getting ready for service. Yeah, we're going to do a complete interior on this one. Um, so, you know, a, a lot of C2 Corvette stuff going on here, guys, as usual. But I really, really was excited to get this on the channel and show you guys the full transformation. I mean, you, you always see the pretty stuff when I'm done. You never see it before I've laid fingers on it. So, really, really happy to bring this to you guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Please consider liking and subscribing because I'm going to be doing a voiceover as kind of an homage to the guy who owned this previously and, you know, the family member who was an influence for this build. Uh, two really, really neat individuals and I'm super excited to be able to honor them with a build like this. So either way, thank you guys so much for joining me and until next time, take care.